Give us a funny Manny Pacquiao story. Just like a weird, funny, like maybe he likes to eat apples and makes funny faces type story. Funny. Uh, well, I don't think this is this is funny. It was more of, uh, I guess, shocking. But uh, he had this, uh, he was doing this charity event. It was like the biggest loser competition um, in the Philippines. And it was, it was pretty cool what he was doing because he had all his workers... Um, they all had to lose a certain amount of weight, right, um, by a certain time. And whoever loses the most weight, they win a lot of money. But whoever, all the other people who still lose weight, they still get paid as well. But they don't make the, the most money, but they still get paid. And uh, at the, um, the Biggest Loser finale, I guess they brought out their delicacy, which was goat. And I've never ate goat before. And, uh, you know, I was a little, you know. Culture shock? Yeah, a little culture shock, yeah, when, when I saw the goat and, uh, you know, Manny was cutting it up and he kind of gave it to me and he's like, here, eat it, you know, and uh, I didn't want to be me, so I pretended like I was going to eat. I took a bite of it, but I put it back. I couldn't eat it, you know. Um, it's not a funny story, but it was just more of a shocking story, you know, that's their delicacy that they like to eat. And to me, it was very surprising. I've never had goat before in my life, so that was a little bit different. Okay. And another thing that I'm thinking about is when I, I listen to you talk boxing, like you've, you've given me numerous pointers just from observing boxing. I, I look at you, you're TV friendly with the way you look. I kind of wonder why hasn't uh, some sort of small promotion or a major promotion taken a chance to give you an opportunity to be fr in front of the camera and do some commentary? I would love to do commentary, you know, for, for some of the networks, you know, uh, just like what Paul and Malnagy is doing right now on Showtime or ESPN or HBO, doesn't matter. Um, you know, I'll lo I'd love to talk about boxing and commentate, and um, hopefully I'll get an opportunity one day, but I just think I just haven't been noticed yet. So once, I've, once I get a name or ma make a name for myself and get on TV and do a little interviews, um, maybe someone might give me a chance. Okay, well now we're going to get you to test your skills. So what do you think of Gennady Golovkin? Do you think he's the goods? Um, do you think this David Lemieux card is worth paying for? Just all of that stuff. I don't know who, what the whole card is of the Triple G versus Lemieux fight. I know um, Brian Valoria and Chocolito are going to be fighting against each other, so that's going to be another good fight. Um, but I think it is going to be a very good, very interesting fight. You know, Lemieux comes to fight. He brings action. He has a lot of power. Gennady Golovkin always has power, and he's always exciting to watch. I think it's going to be a very entertaining fight, and I think it's going to it's a must-see fight for sure. Okay, and at junior welterweight, I'm trying to think, outside of this postal fight, I really can't think of the champions right now. Do you see any fights out there that you're kind of honed in at your own division that it's, it's like homework for anyone that's at 140 pounds right now, that you've got to watch these fights because they're going to be um, guys that you might have to run into if you make it to the top of the division? Well, um, I look at all the fighters at 140, you know, um, there's a lot of good fighters at 140 pounds and uh, right now I'm not really focused on anyone right now because I have a long ways to go, you know, I'm just getting back in the ring, I need to win, you know, two, three, four fights, you know, and, and, and fight someone with a big name and create a lot of noise and uh, get another opportunity to fight someone who is you know, in the top 10 or the top five and beat them to, you know, get that opportunity and finding one of the best out there at 140. So uh, I have a long ways to go, but I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I'm going to bite down, train hard, and, and uh, hopefully um, I'm going to work hard and make sure I get there. Last, last question. Give me a story about being put in the friend zone. Like you were trying to get with a girl and then you got put in that friend zone. Uh, I don't think happened? I've ever been put oh, in the no, friend zone, no, no, so no, no, I... No, not doing that. You're making up a story then. Uh, <laughs> it's Lukey TV. Uh, we don't put up with that. Lukey TV, you know, he's always trying to get the... Uh, the exclusive. The exclusive. Uh, you know what? I, I don't know. I mean, I, you could kind of tell if you're being put in the friend zone when um, a girl tells you certain, certain, certain Give things. Give us some code words. Give us a little bit of uh, um, what people might call game. When they call, um, I, I don't know, when they call you buddy, sweetie, like, I, I don't know, when they call you certain little, you know what, I don't know. Why are you even asking me that question? We're talking about boxing, you're going, going into the whole relationship part. Um, 
But go ahead, ask me another question. You got it. All right, all right. Um, I gotta think of one. What What was the most meaningful experience from sparring Manny, Birdo, Khan, all these people, Postal? What's like the biggest takeaway you've taken away from sparring all of these like real high level people? Well, I mean, I've 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 had a a great opportunity in sparring all these guys and all these guys that you mentioned are very fast um, but they just have different styles and uh, I just learned I just learned a lot you know uh, from being outside of the ring to being inside the ring with them and uh, um, you know uh, just it's just different experience different experience Luke you're making all these faces behind the camera it's kind of hard for me to focus right now and talk directly into the camera Okay, so um, how did it feel having Berto wear your shirt on uh, All Access? Oh, that was great, man. That, that definitely made my day when I saw that. Um, uh, it, it was definitely an honor and, and, a, and a great exposure for me, for him to wear that shirt. I mean, it just made me feel very well. But, you know, um, I was in I am as a fighter, and, and uh, you know, hopefully I can make my name for everyone else to see out there um, how good of a fighter I am. Okay, and... Um I guess just like uh, information, social media, where all the people can follow you, just all of that stuff. All right. Um, you could always, you know, add me on Facebook, Stan Martinuk, um, Instagram, Stan the Man 85, and uh, Twitter, STM Boxing. I'm not really a big Twitter guy just yet. You know, I use mostly Instagram, but uh, hopefully soon I'll get on, on Twitter and, and start tweeting a lot.